Bye. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? It's CIA or Chris here. And today's video consists of my CDL 2021 Major 4 Bracket Prediction. As you guys can see, I'm currently not in my setup. I just finished my finals for school and I am back home for the week. Going into this event, some roster changes have occurred within the league. The subliners brought on Decimate to start in place of a seam. He was having some rather unfortunate complications with being able to make land, so they had to bring on a new forest. This event marks the return to land, which is something I and many in the community find super exciting. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. Starting in elimination round one here, we have the Los Angeles Thieves versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Los Angeles Thieves. The Los Angeles Gorillas have not won a series all stage. They also have not made a roster change at all throughout the stage. The Thieves, after struggling at the beginning of the stage, made a big roster change. And they've looked much better since, in my opinion. They pushed the Minnesota Rocker map 5 round 11 last week and also took a map on Optic. I expect these players to also benefit off returning to land. LAG's players do also have land experience, but I think the Thieves display more talent and that will really show here. And for the next matchup here, we have the London Royal Ravens versus Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Seattle Surge. Both of these teams have struggled this stage. They each have only won once. Surge beat Optic and London beat LAG. I think Optic is a much better team than LAG, therefore Surge's victory is more significant to me. This series is honestly very hard for me to call though as both teams have had lousy performances this stage, but I expect the Surge to prevail. And for the next matchup here, moving on to winners round 1, we have the New York Subliners versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of NYSL. Both of these teams performed relatively well during this stage. Standy and Hydra will both be playing pro land for the first time at this event, and I think that this may impact their performances. NYSL, even with making a roster change, I still has a great team. Mac, Hydra, and Clay have all been frying recently during this stage. Decimate also has pro land experience, so they won't have to worry about that. Minnesota also barely beat LAT last stage, which is a team that's been struggling a lot recently. Because of this, I expect the subliners to prevail, but I do think it will go five as it will still be NYSL's first series with this team, and the Rocker have looked pretty solid. And for the next matchup here we have optic chicago versus the dallas empire this matchup i'll be calling three to two in favor of the dallas empire optic last week faced a loss to surge to start the week surge is currently 12th in the standings and in my opinion one of the worst teams in the league right now empire has looked really good this stage they beat florida took nysl five maps and 3 0 lag optic did bounce back with the win versus lat after their loss but because of their inconsistency recently i expect this to still go in favor of dallas and for the next matchup here moving on to elimination round two we have the florida mutineers versus the los angeles Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves. The Thieves have struggled this stage even after the roster change. They went 0-2 last week. They have looked better in my opinion since making the switch so and I expect land to help them. They have a lot of talent and the return to that kind of environment I feel will be beneficial for them. Florida does have land experience but not their entire roster. Neptune will be making his pro land debut this upcoming weekend. The Mutineers also although starting in losers have looked really good this stage. They beat Ultra at the beginning of it, 3-0'd London and pushed both NYSL and Empire map 5. Because of all these various elements i expect a close series to occur but for the thieves to just barely edge it out as they have more land experience i think neptune may struggle a little bit in that atmosphere and has the potential to crack at least a little also awakening does not have a ton of pro land experience although he does have some and for the next matchup here we have the paris legion versus the seattle surge this matchup i'll be calling three to one in favor of the seattle surge both of these teams have struggled this stage but last week surge beat optic paris has not looked good this stage their only win was to lat prior to their roster change i honestly find the series hard to call as neither team has performed while lately but as stated before surge beat optic last week and i think they are the more solid team right now also the last time these two teams matched up surge lost 3-1 so i think they'll be looking to get revenge here and for the next matchup here moving on to winners round two we have atlanta phase versus the new york subliners this matchup i'll be calling 3-0 in favor of atlanta phase phase currently is first in the standings they also won the last major and haven't dropped a series all stage nysl will be coming into this one with a relatively new roster so i think this will show and be exploited by phase here with how talented of a team they are FaZe has some of the best LAN players out there. Simp, BZ, and RCs all won a world championship on LAN in BO4 two years ago. The subliners have looked good, but I expect no issues to presume for FaZe here. And for the next matchup here, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Dallas Empire. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. The Ultra lost their first matchup of the stage versus Florida, but literally have not dropped a map since. They have swept Dallas, NYSL, and London all recently. Empire has played good all stage, but it hasn't necessarily been pretty. They have multiple map 5 series wins during this stage. 
because of recent trends i expect the ultra to prevail here i do expect the empire to be able to take at least one map though as they still have had a really solid stage overall also insight has played pro land through the open bracket before but has not made a league land debut because of this his performance might be a little off or different than it normally is next up moving on to elimination round three we have the minnesota rocker versus the los angeles thieves this matchup i'll be calling three to two in favor of the los angeles thieves the thieves have more land experience as stated before standy will be making his pro land debut this major the last time these two teams matched up the thieves also lost three two and it was super close i think because of this they will have extra motivation to win this time and be fired up the rockers still have a very solid lineup though with lots of land experience so i expect a close series to ensue again also these teams are neck and neck in the standings they currently sit at six and seventh and are only separated by 10 cdl points for the next matchup here we have chicago optic versus seattle surge this matchup i'll be calling 3-0 in favor of chicago optic the surge have struggled this stage their only win of it was to optic last week they also currently sit at last in the standing honestly i think it was a fluke the last time these two teams met surge did win but it wasn't very convincing as it was a map five because of what happened last time these rosters matched up i expect optic to be searching for revenge here i expect them to come out on fire fierce and with a vengeance and for the next matchup here moving on to elimination round four we have the dallas empire versus the los angeles thieves this matchup i'll be calling three to two in favor of the los angeles thieves the thieves performance most of the stage is not true to their current roster in my opinion as those games occurred before it was formed i also think they have a very talented roster and expect them to perform well on land dallas during this stage is barely securing most of their victories although looking solid a lot of teams have took them the distance and they have had the same roster all stage also vivid in my opinion is the one player on these two teams with the least amount of land credibility honestly i think let starting in losers round one will help them here the thieves tend to make their best runs when starting with their backs against the wall and a fire under their ass i do expect a close series to occur though as both of these teams i think are extremely talented and for the next matchup here we have the new york subliners for chicago optic this series i'll be calling 3-1 in favor of chicago optic subliners coming into this matchup will still be a relatively new roster still i think that because of this their team chemistry with decimate may still be lacking a bit also this will still be hydra's first event on or experiencing pro land optic has a really experienced roster and i really expect land to benefit them scump and formal are both pro land veterans they also display a lot of talent and envoy and dashi who have proven themselves as good on land as well i honestly feel like optic will look very strong here and i expect subliners to get a rude awakening also the last time these two teams matched up nysl won 3-1 so i think optic definitely will want revenge and for the next matchup here moving on to elimination round five we have the los angeles thieves for chicago optic this matchup i'll be calling three to two in favor of the los angeles thieves the last time these two teams matched up optic won three to one this was during the la thieves home series too and it was right after their newest roster formed i feel that because of that the thieves will definitely be out for blood and revenge here optic has also been a bit inconsistent recently although they beat lat last week as stated before they also lost the surge they also aren't the best team in the game as they got 3-0'd by phase earlier in the stage coming into this matchup i feel like lat will have faced a harder opponent than optic in their match prior and why saw with decimate won't be very practiced and i feel like this will aid the thieves in their matchup here also the thieves will be on a massive losers run while optic will be in losers by already facing a loss this event i feel that because of this they may be more mentally prepared to go on a run through the lower half and for the next matchup here moving on to the winners final we have atlanta phase versus the toronto ultra this matchup i'll be calling three to one in favor of atlanta phase phase has gone this entire stage undefeated thus far their victories also include three sweeps over optic seattle and lat the ultra have also had a pretty phenomenal stage but did lose their first series of it they took the l to florida but have not dropped a map to anyone else since insight coming into this event will still be a pro league land rookie however though because of the return to land i am not sure if this one will go five maps phase has some disgusting players and i think there's a chance insight may play a little bit worse as it's his first time i think all the maps will be closed but phase should be able to close it out no problem and for the next matchup here moving on to the elimination final we have the toronto ultra versus the los angeles thieves this matchup i'll be calling three to one in favor of the toronto ultra the ultra have been disgusting this stage their only loss up until winners finals here at the major was early on versus florida they've swept everyone else they played other than phase since they're also currently the only other team to win a major other than phase the thieves are good but the teamwork out of the ultra has been too good all year long they've been extremely consistent and it's hard to really attribute one player to their success i also don't expect insight to have any issues making his pro league land debut as he has at least played at the highest level technically before
I do not think it will be a shutout either, however, as the Thieves are a very talented roster that I expect to perform well on land. And here we sit, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, your stage 4 major final. We have Atlanta FaZe versus Toronto Ultra. This matchup I'll be calling 5-2 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe is the top team in the game. They have won two majors, are first in the standings, have gone this entire stage undefeated, and have the most CDL points. They are a juggernaut, to say the least. The Ultra returning to land I do not think will have the power to stop them. They are good, but I think the talent on FaZe will just shine through way too much. I also am not certain Insight will be able to keep up with the FaZe boys as he's still a relatively new player to the scene. And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 11th, the London Royal Ravens. In 10th, the Paris Legion. In 9th, the Seattle Surge. In 8th, the New York Subliners. In 7th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 6th, the Florida Mutineers. In 5th, the Los Angeles Thieves. In 4th, Dallas Empire. In 3rd, Optic Chicago. In 2nd, Toronto Ultra. And in 1st, Atlanta FaZe. Alright guys, but well that's pretty much it for today's video. Make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed and to comment any thoughts you have on my predictions. I'd love to hear how some of you guys think this weekend is going to play out. A lot of pros haven't played on LAN yet, so it should be very interesting to see how this all goes down. And of course, as always, I really hope the Thieves play good. Alright guys, but until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.